uh, heading back in for our second night here at Tad Lad West Kentucky Whitetails. Uh, we hunted this farm this morning and we saw some good movement, but it knocked off early. So we took a quick little break and uh, grabbed something to eat and we're getting back out of here early. Uh, we got two bucks on the ground last night. A uh, beautiful, heavy 11 pointer, uh, tipped the scale at 240 pounds. And a really nice nine pointer that uh, was I think 220 pounds. So two just big heavy deer. So uh, like I said, there's two of us back out this afternoon. We hunted this morning. We're at a new farm. Uh, we've hunted this farm several times uh, in the past and uh, it's been really good to us. So uh, after some discussion with Tad and Michael this afternoon, he decided we're coming back to Old Faithful again. So that's why we hunted here this morning. So we got a little trick up our sleeve. We're gonna try, see if that works out for us. Uh, but like I said, just the two of us here this afternoon and hopefully we can get it done, so. As you know, we're back with Tad Lad West Kentucky Whitetails, and we just got it done. So uh, just put a big eight on the ground. Uh, put a little big tine uh, cherry blend out, and he absolutely came to it like he was on a string. So uh, about a 100 yard shot, let the old CDA go to work, and uh, he didn't go 100 yards. He's laying right here in the field. So finally got it done. It's been a long couple days. Uh, deer movement has been up and down. Um, Yesterday morning we saw a few. Last night we didn't see a deer. Uh, this morning the uh, movement was really good. Uh, saw a nice little buck, decided to pass on him. And then this afternoon here about 5.30 they just started piling out of the woods. So uh, the old big tine cherry blend did its job and it came right. he came right to it. So we got uh, one more still in the stand. We're three for four right now with about an hour left. So. Uh, we're really hoping, fingers crossed, we go four for four. My last update, I said we had just gone three for four. I put a big eight on the ground. Well, less than a half hour later, we've gone four for four. We got another one on the ground. Another nice eight. Haven't seen it yet, still in the stand. So, getting ready to get down and check it out. So, just wanted to give you that update, Jarvis Outdoors. Four for four, back with Tad Lad, West Kentucky Whitetail. Thanks for watching.